Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Ape Escape on the loose. We are going on to the mini games now. But before I do, I'll just show you that I got two more levels of trees. Here's our uh, phase six banana tree here. Now bearing fruit. As well as our phase seven banana tree. Get a little closer to see him dance around a bit. And we got our phase six and seven coconut trees as well, also now bearing fruit. So yeah, our trees are looking good. And I'm pretty sure they only have one phase left to get to, so I should be able to show that at the start of the next video. But anyways, now on to what this video is actually about, the minigames. So the first minigame we've got here is Snow Kids Racing. Before I go in there, I just want to explain that uh, all four of these games are single player normally. But that multiplayer game thing that's on the title screen allows you to play these as multiplayer through Wi-Fi. Now, I don't actually know anyone else who has this game right now, so it might be hard for me to get multiplayer footage of this, but I might do it one day. But anyways, moving on to Snow Kids Racing. This, of course, is very similar to Ski Kids Racing from the original Ape Escape. But it definitely has had some changes, which we're about to see. Alright, so we've got three courses to take down. The normal course, the trick course, and the jump course. We'll start with normal and then go to jump and then do trick. I think that'll be good. They also have split paths, so I might want to do each one twice. But the normal course, and we've got 13 playable characters. Eton, Sir Lucas, John, Carl Eckes, Curtis, Freddy, Arnold, Spectre, Spike, Professor, Natalie, Jake, and Cassie. I'm pretty sure that's 13. If you don't have all these characters when you start up the game, that's because uh, you unlock these characters by making progress in the main game. So I've reached 100% now. And since we're going to be doing each course twice, I'd say let's play as all the characters that are actually characters. Uh, starting with Spectre, I guess, and going to the right from there. Now, I don't actually remember how to do this. Okay, it's seeming familiar now. So, I can kind of crouch or something. To, I think that might get a little speed, but it also makes me jump. And I know that if you perform jumps, I guess I'm taking the left path here. Yeah, if you perform, like, if you perform tricks when you do a jump... It raises your boost meter. So you can boost, but you also have to be careful not to wipe out when doing a trick. I don't know what button I... Okay, so that does... That's how, that's how you do a trick. I just pressed square for that. I'm not sure if I need to hold a certain direction. There, I was just using square a lot. Looks like square or circle will work for that.
and that just raises my the the amount of boost I could hold. That glowing thing we just passed is the actual boost, and it will always raise your boost to full. So next time we see one of those, we definitely want to grab it. Now everyone else is catching up with us. And let's take the left path again. And it uses the boost automatically, it looks like. Whoa, camera, what are you... Oh. We were apparently going the wrong way. Well, now I know why the camera was being all weird. That's a really strange place, though, because it looks like you shouldn't... Like, it makes you go up the way that you shouldn't be able to go, and it's really weird. Kinda counterintuitive. Oh, he stole my boost. I didn't even know that it would disappear. I just wiped someone out. I didn't know I could do that. Now, if I don't beat this, it's fine, because we're going to be playing this again with another character anyways. Oh, and yeah, I'm pretty sure that at wiping out gets rid of your maximum boost. Like, I think it sets it back to normal. So you've really got to be careful about that. Oh my gosh, we're so close to the end and we're in last, so this isn't going to be good. The races in this minigame are also really long, in case you can't tell. But we did it! We finished in first! Red Peepotron! I don't... F like, people have one asked online, like, how to unlock Red Peepotron as a playable character, and I don't think that you can. There's not a lot of information about these minigames online, honestly. So, were there two... Yeah, there were two split paths in that course. Uh, so let's do the normal course again, this time with Spike. And we'll try to go right at the forks. Want to show as much of this as I can. And then this minigame will never be seen or heard from again. All right, taking a right this time. Oh my gosh, Spike. There's a bunch of advertising on the side of the course for Snow Kids Racing. I don't know why, since we're already <laughs> playing it, they could have advertised the other mini games. That would have been cool. I don't even know what's happening to him right now, honestly. Okay, that one was just my fault. <laughs>
Ah, oh, that was pitiful. But we're taking a right now, so we've taken all the paths on this course. Now we just need to focus on actually winning. Not that it matters, since we already won, and really we didn't even need to win in the first place, because you don't earn anything for beating these courses. In some of the other mini games, we will actually have to win in order to unlock stuff. Oh my gosh, Spike, you're going so slow! No! It's probably fine, though, because there's probably some sort of rubber band AI that's going to make everyone slow down for me. And then I'll be able to pull ahead of them, and it'll all be easy from there. I can at least see everybody again. So I don't think crouching actually makes you go faster. You, crouching is just what you need to do in order to do a jump. Because I'm crouching right now. You know, I've got all, I've got that trick meter built a pretty long ways if we I don't even think I can build it anymore. So if we can get a boost, that'd be pretty great, especially since we're getting close to the end. Well, wiping out that way didn't get rid of our, our meter, so that's good. And we can get this boost. This is going to be so good. We'll pull ahead of everyone. What I tell ya? Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, I missed it because it's like behind a hill or something. I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't think there's any boosters left. No, we lost this one, but whatever. We won it before, so it's fine. Oh, that's water? I did not realize that. Okay, that kind of sucks, but it's fine. We'll go on to the jump course now. We don't need to take both paths at both paths at the start because that's the same as the last course, but there is a split path partway through, so we still need to do this one twice. I guess it's on to the professor. The old man's going to do some sick tricks, which is going to be pretty amusing. Started with uh, Oak and Misty right next to each other. Yeah, I can't build that meter any further, so I, I can just stop doing tricks. Not that I will, but I should. Oh, I missed the banana. Oh, wow. Well. 
I wonder if any of these characters have different stats. I'm pretty sure they do in Ski Kids Racing. Although I honestly can't remember. Professor's getting some sick air there. Ooh. Yeah, I guess there's really not much of a point to uh, doing... Oh, man. I guess there's really not much of a point to, to doing a trick while you're boosting, because it just raises the max, and then it gets rid of your max boost once you're done with the boost. So, yeah, I guess that's a strategy to keep in mind. You know, only do tricks when it actually helps you. Okay, so up there... You can't actually go up there. I think that's where we came out before. When I was like, well, that was counterintuitive. Also, I have no clue where the actual split path is. I hope we haven't passed it. Actually, we probably have since we're back into a place that's familiar. So I'm going to have no clue what to do differently next time. I might end up failing at showing both paths and just do two generic races. Because I honestly didn't see the split. Oh, come on, that trick was done. You can't tell me he didn't do that. Uh, I mean, the professor was the worst character in Ski Kids Racing, so... Uh, this isn't a huge surprise. How do you even get that? I don't even understand. Like, how do you get down there to grab that? Do you have to, like, jump beforehand so you fall down into it or something? I'm not sure. And we'll get in the water a little bit. Our shower of shame, I guess we'll call it, even though it's more like a bath of shame. So I am curious. I want to know where in the world that split path actually was. Let's get Natalie out for this. Whoa! And Natalie is immediately sent to the hospital. Oh, we'll go this way this time, because why not? Aside from the fact that it appears to be harder. 
I knew he was gonna steal that from me. So I think this is where it deviates from the previous track, so now I just need to see where that other split is. Because I do want to take all the paths. I really should stop trying to do tricks when there's absolutely no ramp whatsoever. Oh, that was just cruel. Oh, is this it? Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm going the way that I didn't go before. Because it was just hard to tell that you could even come this way. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the other way. And that is where the other path comes out. So I was wrong about what path that was. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna uh, make it this time either. Which is a little unfortunate, because I want to actually win on each track at least once. This video is already going to be plenty long, but I might come back with one of the monkeys just to do this track again, because it's going to bother me if I don't beat it. I almost touched that booster, and that would have been, been so good. Because I think that might have been the last one there is. I really should not have done that trick there, but... Yeah, like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here, because I don't think there's any boosters left. Going painfully slow. There's this one. Oh, but I can't get that one. That. How do you even grab that? You know what? You know what I think I just realized? I think you actually go faster if you hold up, if you hold forward on the control stick. Wow. That would have been nice to know. I might go back to this course at the end of the video. For now, we're going to the trick course with Jake. And let, let's test out my theory. Um, yeah, it, it definitely looks like I'm going faster. So, uh, wow, I wish I knew that four races ago.
forget the boost, too needs it. So I wonder if you could slow down by pulling back on the control stick, too, and maybe that's how you get some of those more tricky boosts. Oh, come on. This appears to be the split path. So, I'll, yeah, it is. So I'm going left this time. I'll have to go right next time. I really would have liked to grab that, but whatever. Yeah, I really wish I would have known that holding forward makes you go faster. In fact... I think jumping might make you go faster too. Although it, that might depend on the situation. I'm not sure. I guess there's a mini split path there. I went right there, but we could see the left one, so even if I don't end up going left next time, it doesn't matter. I don't think I ever hit a boost this whole race so far. Get it! Oh my gosh! And I'm pretty sure that was the last boost, and I didn't get it. But I'm also in the lead, so that is pretty interesting. I jump over the, the tub of shame there. And we did it! So I guess that means there's two races left. Do the trick course with Cassie here. I'm gonna try to take a right, a right, and a left. And then I'll return to the jump course with one of the generic monkeys. Which is nice, at least, that we get to play as one of the generic monkeys then. Since we weren't going to get to otherwise. At least not in this minigame. It's cool that you actually get to play as Cassie now, because, like, as far as the main series games go, she was only ever in Ape Escape 1, and she didn't even have an official name in that game. So it's nice that in the remake, they're really uh, giving her a lot of love. actually giving her a name, making her playable in 
this mini game here, and there's the whole uh, Cassie's data thing, which apparently she's still not getting enough love since that's not in this version. But whatever. Oh yeah, that is awesome. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get that. And I think that is the last split, so we have now seen all of every course. I just need to actually win the second one. I jumped way over the last boost there, that's a bit unfortunate. I mean, it means that I'm going fast, which is pretty good, but I really could have used that boost. But I think we're still gonna win. It'll be close. <laughs> no tub of shame. Alright. So we have won half of them so far. And we have won every race where we knew that holding forward made you go faster. We even won one where we didn't know that. So that's pretty cool. Let's head back here and... Uh... They've got a monkey of every color. The red, black, green, blue, light blue... Uh, I guess this pink one is supposed to be the white monkey. And yellow. We want to go fast, so let's go with the blue one. Doesn't matter what path we take, we're just trying to win this time. I wonder what the light on the helmet means in this minigame. Does it have to do with my speed or how close I am to other people? I think it's my speed. I think blue means you're going slow, yellow means it's medium speed, and red means you're going really fast. Okay, apparently charging into his behind hurts me instead of him. I did not think that that's how it would work. But whatever. Doesn't matter now, because I'm way ahead of everyone.
Okay, I was really worried I wasn't going to get that there. Ow. We're so close to the end. If I don't win... Oh, and I missed that, so that's really bad, because that's the last one. But we are ahead of everyone else. And I am holding forward, because I actually know what I'm doing now. Oh, that's the last one that we just skipped. Okay, never mind. Oh man, don't you dare. This guy might actually... He's actually gonna beat us. Oh, we did it! Okay! Just barely. We were flipping back and forth there. That was a photo finish. Well then, we did it. Uh, it doesn't look like it unlocks any characters, so I'm, I'm pretty sure we can't get that Peepotron or whatever. But that's fine. We are done with Snow Kids Racing. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for this video. In the next video, I will probably have all those trees fully grown, and we will move on to uh, the next minigame, Spectre Boxing. Yep, right up there, Spectre Boxing. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.